Welcome to Cartoon Academy. We're about to embark on a high sea adventure. Let's set sail and see what we shall see. Welcome to Cartoon Academy. I'm Joe Wos. Today, we're going to learn how to draw a pirate as we create a work of art. Let's begin. We start with the left eye, an oval shape, then the pupil, and now an eye patch. We shade that in. An eye patch is part of a pirate's costume. A costume is something that a character wears that helps tell us a little bit about who they are. Now the nose, we come out, around, and back in. Next are the eyebrows. One, and two. From the eyebrow, we draw a line down, and we add the ear. The ear is just a capital letter G. Come down just a little further. Now back up to the top of the head, I'm going to add his hat. Up, sort of a letter C on its side, out and back in. Now we're going to add a little skull on the hat. The skull is a symbol. A symbol is an image that can represent an idea, a team, or even a company. Uh, it might be a symbol for your favorite superhero or favorite baseball team. In this case, we're going to use a skull as that represents a pirate. Round, down, over, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, around, connect. Circle, circle filled in, and then lastly a triangle filled in. Then we just want to color this all in. We want to fill it in completely all around that skull. Just color it in as best as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Next, the feather, a line out, zigzag, zigzag, around, zigzag, zigzag, back in. Now for the mustache. Starting from the base of the nose, come out, curl, and back in, out, curl, and back in. And just sort of connect that line to the mustache. Now for the beard. There are lots of beard pirates. Red beard, blue beard, yellow beard, plaid beard, purple beard. It's your pirate, whatever you want. You can color it the beard any way you like. Around and up and then some hair. For the mouth, a line over, dash, down, over, connect. We're going to have one gold tooth. It's just a square. And then we shade in around it. There's a little strap on the eye patch that also forms an eyelid. Now for the body, we're going to start with one of the arms. Line down, over, and up. The other arm comes out for the beard, up, over, and down. Now the sleeves, rectangle, rectangle. Our hands, thumb, one, two, three. The other hand, he's holding a telescope. So we're going to see the thumb, but then he's gripping it because he's holding. So I'm going to show you a little trick to do that. First we draw the thumb, and then for the grip we just draw one, two, three ovals. Now we're going to lay in the telescope. Line across, down, in, past the thumb, 
up right to those fingers. Now align from the bottom of the telescope to the sleeve. Rectangle, rectangle, square, and rectangle. Now for the body. Line down and out, up, down, and back up to the beard. Across the body, we're going to have a belt buckle and belt. The belt buckle, we draw a square, another square, and a line. For the belt itself, rectangle, rectangle, and then fill that all in. There we go. Very good. For the legs, a line down, an arch, and a leg down. We're not going to see his boots because he's standing in a boat. We'll draw a line across, connect those legs to the base of the boat, line down, over and down, down, over and down, and then we add in some water. planks of the boat, just little pieces of wood, quick lines, and then maybe a few nails here and there. Add in a little more water. Whenever I draw water, it reminds me, what did the ocean say to the pirate? <laughs> Nothing, it just waves. <coughs> now we're going to add a sea monster. Oval, letter C, period and period. Now the eyebrows, one, two. From the base of the eye, come down, letter B upside down, round, and up, dash. Add another nostril here. It's just an upside down letter V and a dash. The mouth is open. Draw a line down, dash, and back up. Now the teeth. Letter V over and over. Just like so. For the inside of the mouth, you just want to color that in. From the brow, down, around, into the water for the neck. Front of the neck, down from the lower jaw, right to where the water's going to go. And then you can add in some more water. For the underbelly, starting from this lower jaw, Start narrow, and then get wider and wider until you reach the water. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six lines across for the underbelly. And then some polka dots. Remember, it's your sea monster, so you could add polka dots, stripes, zigzags, whatever you like. On the back, I'm going to add some spikes. Just down and up the whole way. That's our Pirate and Sea Monster. Be sure to sign your name. Take pride in your work. I'll see you next time.